Hello, this is the Lego Marvel Spider-Man Far From Home Hydro-Man Attack set. As of the time of the recording of this video, the movie is not out yet, and there are a lot of fan theories actually about Hydro-Man, not to mention other teased villains from the movie, not necessarily actually even being Hydro-Man, but rather being an elemental or just a Mysterio uh, illusion, or maybe it's all of the above. It's the MCU after all. You know, a lot of the time they don't directly follow the, the comic canon or any specific version of comic canon, and I think that's okay. But here's how LEGO has interpreted the character that was seen, or the thing that was already seen in the first trailer for the movie. So a big old stack of water and the way that they scaled it, they actually place an actual normal-sized minifigure in there at the top for the human shape above this tower of spinning water. Now on each side you can see some stickers, so there are some decorations that attempt to add a little extra texture in there to make it not too simple looking. This is a fairly static thing. I actually originally thought that it was going to be able to rotate at these different tiers with turntables in between, but that is not the case. This just sits there like that. You can pull off these parts and then rotate them relative to each other, put them back together. But as it's as it's built, the stuff won't actually spin around. It's just trying to look like there's some motion to it. The actual minifig portion of it uses a dark azure torso and dark azure head, as well as hands. And then the rest of the parts are just regular blue. And I think this is, this is okay for what it is. I don't know, I've, I almost feel like it looks a little bit too human here, but then again, I, I haven't seen the movie because it's not out yet, so I don't know if there's going to be a form where he'll kind of come down or it will come down just onto land and just walk around normally without being at a regular size and possibly it would have more of a, a perfect humanoid form at that point. I don't know, but this is what they gave us in Lego form. It looks like around the back, and there's no printing on the front of the leg, so there's nothing that you're missing here. The main structure build gives you a little bit of Venice, Italy, with a suggestion of the Rialto Bridge, but as I was worried about when I first saw the photographs of this set, this is just a thin, I mean, it's a one stud thick section back there for, for the main structure going over the arch, so... You know, it's it's almost a facade, even though it's it's behind there. And that just leaves a bunch of room open for figures to actually be posed there. Fortunately, this entire build is a bit larger than I expected relative to the size of figures. So display value is, is decent here. It's just when you get in a little bit closer to it and you realize that there's not that much here, it might start to feel a little bit disappointing. I think the bridge itself looks pretty good the shaping there is pretty nice and i appreciate all the spots where you can put the the web blast elements on there it's supposed to be trying to hold the whole thing together and you have a dock down here there's also a rat down in one of the the tunnels beneath you can also place web elements around the back here this is to blow off the top of the bridge so a little bit of an action feature there to get some some motion going and that just does this you know knocks a bunch of stuff off and uh, it's fairly easy to put back on because it's just two sub assemblies there's a similar action feature button over here which i think would have been more appropriate to put on this side just to keep everything a little bit more clean on the display side you know the main display side this actually doesn't break things though it just flips up a little bit of the, the the patio over here with this one desk or one table and one chair so if you hit it hard enough it'll flip up but then it kind of you have to get it just right it'll get there we go it'll get stuck in an up position but that's just it so if a, a figure is actually sitting in this seat they're not even going to get knocked out you know they're not even going to fall off they'll just be sideways so that's a, a little bit awkward there i thought there would be more that really goes on got the appropriate italian newspaper here got a slice of pizza on top and then there's just the cafe section behind which is super small it's mostly just a four by four area a couple stickers up there on some teal colored bricks 
Got a little bit of tower up above, lots of places to attach web pieces, you know, web blast pieces in different ways to help keep the whole thing together or to help trap villains and inside the structure, just one. Uh, I, don't, I don't know coffee, so is that an espresso machine? Coffee press, what do you call that? Coffee machine? I'm going to call it an espresso machine. And I'm going to cross my fingers that not every single comment is going to be just about that one thing. But that's just it. That's that's all there is to this. You've you've seen it all now, uh, except for one small side build. This is the small thing, just a gondola, or gondola, just pronounce it however you want. You know what it is? It's a little boat, and has space just barely for two figures. So you can be facing each other. You don't have a space for someone to actually power the thing if two people are sitting down. But I mean, it's simple, but it makes sense. You know, the shape is there. And now presenting Peter Parker to pick up a passport. He's got the partial cowl there, which I think is a really cool piece. You know, it's it's a, a swimming cap that's just printed with the eyes on it. I think it's cool. Could have used a little bit more print for more detail, but I think it's fine for, for what it is. It may actually be accurate. I don't remember if he has a full one there, you know, full suit or just kind of a, a stand-in version, but I like it. I like the piece. And I also like the print for that torso showing the suit underneath and there's just really good detail to the torso anyway i feel like this one's gonna be a little bit collectible in the future print on the back with the hoodie on the outside i think is just fine and he has some web elements to go with him this one here is something to allow him to to, to hang and swing you know with the clip at the end you can attach it to things above and there's also an alternate face for that head, All right, there we go. It's looking a little bit, a little bit scared. And they also include a hairpiece. Sweet, good job. Once again, Lego has included a hairpiece. It's a tiny, tiny bit of extra money that they have to spend or budget, you know, to put that one little piece, additional piece in there. And it just, it just helps so much. I think, just adds so much value. Allows you to use this, this one figure in many more different scenarios. So I'm really happy about that. Here's MJ, and this looks good to me. This looks just fine. I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't change anything. I mean, it's not a, a new torso print even, but really didn't need it. No, nope, I, I just really can't say much about this because I feel like there's not that much to critique here, and it just looks like it should. It is, it's done right. So two thumbs up and let's move on. The last figure here is Mysterio and it is the exact same Mysterio figure that's included in all three of the Far From Home sets that Lego came out with, which, uh, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's kind of good in some ways and kind of bad in, in some others. It would have been nice to have some option available amongst the three sets, especially to have one with an actual head you know, helmet off, but I think this figure itself looks really good. And the nice thing about including the same figure in all three sets is that if a kid only wants one of the three sets, they can get just that one set and get this very nice figure to go with it. You know, no matter which way you go, it's, it's really tough to, to budget things out that way. And, you know, to budget the characters out, uh, no matter what you do, there will be people who will be unhappy with the decision. Certainly if they had made three different versions of them, or if they had only put this in one of the sets, then it'd be like, oh, why'd you have to put it in that set? That's not the one that I want. That's the worst set. You know, instead they've got three of the same in three different sets. It's like, ah, oh, why do we have to get three different ones of these? Well, at least you could treat them as, as Mysterio illusions, you know. Last up, these are the remaining parts in the set. So these over here are all the spares, you know, the, the true leftovers. And then there are also three more pieces from the web blast pack. You know, they, they always have the, the same whole series of parts that come together. And yeah, that's just it. Some of these things are pretty cool, including the extra printed pizza piece. It's 471 pieces for $40 US, and I cannot complain about that value-wise. Like I said, the main structure definitely is more impressive to me than I expected, uh, mostly because of pictures like this where they've they've really 
angled the whole thing away from you and then just used a whole lot of depth of field which doesn't do justice it just it looks so much larger in person and nicer you know they, they were really trying to squeeze it into this rather vertical uh, format of, of space that they have and I, I do think and even here I used a telephoto lens and just just stood way way back and angled the thing off it just makes it look so much smaller than it, than it really is it's definitely larger than it appears in these in these pictures the white arches above the bridge really bug me in how thin they are but worst case scenario if it bugs you too much just take those off you know there, there are very few pieces they're just sitting there they're not integrated and i think you still end up with something that that looks nice or if you can get past that and not see it as something that's supposed to be per particularly realistic you know and just just see it as a little bit of extra decoration i think it's i think it's fine actually uh, all of this stuff is small with this with the structure build but the positive side of the trade-off there is that there's plenty of room to place figures all around you know this is actually a nice space to play and they have little nooks and crannies and places where you can get in there and everything i think that for what it is and for the the parts budget and everything yeah i, th I think it's well done i think that this was yeah put together well i don't know about that hydro man i don't know what they could have done to do it better <laughs> again at this price overall I think they did a pretty good job. This is definitely not for everybody. Not everybody's going to be happy with it. I completely understand that. I definitely see some shortcomings myself, but again, for what it is, for what they're going for, I think it's, I think it's a success, and the value is pretty good as well. If you want to see how this thing actually goes together, how it's actually built, check out my build videos. I have two options for you. Uh, again, as, as usual these days, I have the pure build where it's just real-time building and no music, not sped up or anything. You can just follow along and, you know, see how it goes together and listen to the clicks of the sound of the, the pieces going together. And I also have the traditional speed build on my, my Jang Builds It channel, which does have some music and is much shorter. If you check out one of those, I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'll talk to you again soon.